This airstrip on Demios is vital to securing the entire planet. General. The Sun Yat-sen can insert the 3rd Chinese Infantry on Snyder's Plateau. We will pour down from there in two major thrusts. The Gurkhas, moving from Hornsby Ridge, will crush them from the opposing side. Seagrin's EEC troops and the West African Brigades tighten the circle. Ross. The Saratoga's hammerheads and phalanx two missiles will soften up the target. Followed by the 5th Marine Expeditionary Force landing here. Establishing a toehold on the field. Intelligence. When the Chicks took the Estra from us six months ago, it cost them three of their finest divisions. We should expect no less of a sacrifice. Let's hear it. For the Marines, 80% projected casualty rate. Bloody ground. I know it's steep, Glenn. But whoever controls Demius controls the entire Pegasus sector. Besides, to see an airstrip that we built and lost, now the launch pad for strike after strike killing thousands of our men and women is unacceptable. Yes, sir. We'll take it back, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the invasion of Demios is the first step of Operation Roundhammer. An ambitious series of planet-hopping maneuvers designed to drive the war to the heart of Chig territory. As Supreme Commander of Earth Forces, I'm proud to lead you all into this battle. Today is the first domino. Let's make it fall. Wow, real steak and fresh eggs. Only one reason we're getting this kind of chow. We're going in. We thought we were alone. We believed the universe was ours. Until one night in 2063, on an Earth colony 16 light years away, they struck. And now we are at war. My name is Lieutenant Colonel T.C. McQueen. I'm an in vitro, a race of artificially gestated humans. I command a Marine Corps squadron, the 58th. They call us the Wild Cards. We fight when called, in space, on land, and at sea. To lose this war means more than defeat. To surrender is to never go home. All of us must rise to the call, above and beyond. Bless you and keep you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bring it up another 20 Hertz. 5 8. You'll supply air support until the ground forces have secured their positions. At that time, you'll put them down and anchor the airstrip. Loading bays 1 through 14, operational, sir. Secure for deployment. All support personnel clear the flight deck. Commence hammerhead engagement sequence. Sir. Domino. 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 Turn fire from the planet, sir. Butter's melting. Drop the hammers. Hammerhead 
engagement sequence complete. Prepare for launch. Ducks on the pond. Who wants them? I got them. Saratoga, this is Wild Cards. Butter's melted. We are secure. Uh, 315 in place. Uh, AAG's armed and ready, sir. All MEUs accounted for, reporting minimal casualties, sir. Airstrip sector secured. Code is Zulu Bravo Charlie. 39.1 gigahertz. Azimuth. Stellar waypoint finder says 38 degrees. Direct parabolic antenna. Solar cell. Ready. Saratoga, this is wild cards. Transmission code is 4 3 64. Alien presence. Nominal. Why aren't I celebrating? It seems fruits of victory have fallen too easily into our mouths. Eight months ago, the Chigs nearly bled themselves dry to take this airfield. And today, they just walk away. Why? Why? Call the Eisenhower. Proceed with the next stage. Admiral Vetter. General Wyrick instructs you to reinforce Demios as per stage B. Let's get on it. Aye, aye. Sir, single bogey bearing 179er. Where the hell did he come from? It's reversing its course. Back towards the moon, Opus 5. Well, if I were a lonely chig, I'd turn tail when I saw the Eisenhower. Before we deploy to that sector, launch Hammerhead Squadron 3-4 and have him take that chig pest out of my sky. Yes, ma'am. Eisenhower Command, this is the Croker. 34 Squadron has visual contact with the bogey. Roger that, Croker. Maintain radio contact. King Air, this is the Croker. You'll be the first to take your shot. Roger, Croker, and thank you for my next medal. Locking on the bogeyman. King Air, this is the Croker. Come in. King Air, this is the Croker. Do you read me? Eisenhower Command, this is the Croker. Rounding Opus 5. I think King Air may have waxed his target. Roger that, Croker. Mission status, Lieutenant Feely. We just lost radio and LIDAR contact, but that's to be expected when they round the moon. Admiral, it was five on one, ma'am, and they'd already locked on to it. I can't let one Chig warship keep supplies from our people on planet. Is Sector 219 are clear? Crystal, Admiral. Then set course. All ahead full. the Jersey Turnpike, instead of millions of miles from home. Oh, man. 
chicks dumped all over the food before they left. Go for it, huh? It's high in protein. I already get my daily allowance from you guys. They didn't get to the coffee sweeteners. We'll secure it. Make it our command center. Would have been a nice gig being stationed on this planet. The Eisenhower should have checked in by now. Try them again. Eisenhower, this is Saratoga. Come in. Maybe it's a radio problem, sir. The Eisenhower's not transmitting. Switch frequencies. Yes, sir. Eisenhower, this is Saratoga. Do you read me? Eisenhower, this is Saratoga. Respond. Eisenhower, this is a Saratoga. Please come in. Eisenhower, this is a Saratoga. Please come in. Eisenhower, this is Wild Cards. Come in. What's up? Should be the Eisenhower overhead. I can't get a fix. This thing's out of juice. Never thought when I was going in I'd have time for a shave. You know what this battle reminds me of? Remember that Lakers Bulls final about seven years ago? Wasn't born yet. Right, then I guess it'd be tough for you to remember. The one that went to a ninth game? Everyone thought the Lakers were gonna pound Chicago, but it was the 60th anniversary of Michael Jordan's 110 point game. Bulls got fired up. Just like us. It's nothing from the Eisenhower's battle group. What's the Saratoga ski code frequency again? 39.1. Waypoint finder says 38 degrees by 120 degrees. Sir, the HMS Invincible is down. USS Tecumseh is signaling Mayday. The Eisenhower is gone. They need those forward fire decks now. Enemy superior. Squadron's descending on planet. Scramble! Scramble! Get airborne! Come on! Enemy aircraft 50 miles has achieved air superiority over the airstrip. Do not dispatch any further squadrons until so ordered. The Chicks must have pulled their forces from another position. Frankly, sir, intelligence is not sure. As you work, Colonel. Gentlemen, we find ourselves in the midst of our collective country's greatest military disaster. Because of which, a door has opened, possibly, to our greatest achievement. Ixion, a territory of monumental strategic importance, being a mere 50 astronomical units from the Chick's home planet. This was so heavily fortified and believed so unobtainable 
that Earth Force battle plans conceded Ixion to the Chicks. Believed. This communique is from the Earth Force's Chiefs of Staff in New York. The alien fleet currently attacking us is from Ixion. They are using the Ixion forces to counterattack and have left the planet unprotected. Why would they do that? They must be spread thinner than we believe. They're gambling to engage us here. It's hard enough to know the hearts and minds of a human enemy. In any case, their blunder becomes ours if we don't seize this opportunity. Dispatch the fourth fleet to that area instead of bringing it here for support. Sir, without their support, our fight is made all the tougher. General, the fourth fleet would never get here in time. Currently, they're 1,400 AUs away. We are closest to Ixion. Our job is not finished here. You said it yourself, Glenn. Without support, this fleet is going under. Ixion is infinitely more important than a tiny airstrip on Deniel's, Commodore. Taking Ixion now would cut two years off the war and could save a million lives. At the expense of 25,000 lives. My lives. Fighting down on planet. Colonel, I know you to be a student of military history. What is your counsel? I would retreat this fleet and then advance to Ixion. The Chig counterattack will be severe. I would send the 4th Fleet to Ixion as support. The 5-8 is down there, McQueen. In the Second World War, the Japanese committed their finest troops to protecting the island of Guadalcanal, neglecting the strategic importance of New Guinea. Our Marines were on their own for eight months while the Allies exploited the Japanese mistake. It broke the back of the Nippon offensive. After the canal, we took the war to them. We will not abandon our troops on planet. Ming, pull back two supply ships to a distance of one AU. It will resupply the forces on Demios at any window of opportunity. I respect your thoughts, Commodore, but this battle will not be won here. We'll win it at Ixion. thing to do is rarely the easiest. McQueen, right now our people on planet don't have the luxury of time to consider right or wrong. Hell, they don't have time to think. They can only react to dead or alive. You and I have been there, and we know that amidst all the hellfire and fear, in the seconds between firing and being fired upon, there is a whisper in their hearts that feels like a scream at the top of their lungs saying, we'll be there to back them up. And now we won't be. Yes, sir, I have been there. I know that hell. And I would give my life if it meant that one other human being would not have to go through what those kids are going through down there. And I know my kids feel the same way. Taking Ixion now would save a million kids from that hell. Kai, I just can't bring myself to leave them. Me neither. I want to join them. Sir, request permission to stay with the supply ship with the intent of going on planet. Permission denied. I'm not going to reduce the Corps' finest pilot to a supply sergeant. Commodore Ross. Glenn. I'm asking as a friend. And I'm responding as one. 
All of us are going to lose too many friends in this war. Hey, man, everyone else is bolted over the ridge. We're the only ones left out here. We should fall back to supplementary position. McQueen and Ross would want us to hold our position and wait for air cover. Ross and McQueen ain't down here. Yes, they are. What's the word? Saratoga, this is Demios. Request response to request for air cover. Situation deteriorating. Many units in retreat. Airfield in jeopardy of being taken. Many casualties. Request response. Demios, this is the Saratoga. Lieutenant. Marines. This is Commodore Ross of the USS Saratoga. We remain proud of you. Due to security reasons, I am unable to explain this painful directive. Due to the fortunes of war, Black Forest. I say again, Black Forest. No air support. Red Sea. Red Sea. No ground reinforcement. You are encouraged, but not so ordered, to continue to engage the enemy. If, however, your positions become untenable, you are authorized to surrender. Semper Fidelis. May God be with you always. Helmsman, way anchor. Set a course for the Helios system. We'll be back for them. Yes, sir. If they're still here. You know the drill. No ammo. Gotta have hope. O oh God, the creator and redeemer of all the faithful, hear our supplication. And through thy infinite love and mercy, graciously grant to the soul of thy servant departed. The remission of all their sins by which they may have deserved the severity 
But don't look at me. That was me that time. Of thy justice and punishment in the world to come. I don't know why we bother with this. Nobody's gonna do it for us. It's not gonna happen to us. Marines always bury their dead. Oh, but they abandon their living. Just give it up, man! We all know they wouldn't have left us here for no reason. And when they're done with whatever it is, they'll be back. <laughs> 1900 hours. Satellite's up. Key code? Tango Echo Charlie. Frequency, 42.4 gigahertz. Stellar waypoint finder indicated 49 degrees azimuth. Solar cell? Hawks. We may be out of this world, but we still have a duty. Now on your feet. Saratoga, this is Demios. People, this is the 53rd day of the counterattack, and we have not lost any ground. I don't want to lose any today. EEC third wing reported yet. So I'm searching all frequencies, but I can't cut through any incoming transmissions. Every day at 1900, this happens. Planet Demios reporting enemy location at grid point. 784983, approximately 3,000 in number. <clears throat> enemy appears to have abandoned this fight. They brought them all here to fight this one. Buried 15 Marine casualties today. Uncertain of survivors on the planet. Have not come in contact with any friendlies. Demios, this is Saratoga. You are jamming our communications. Cease with your transmission. 5-8. This is Queen 6. Transmission received. Relay to Pegasus Theater Command. Good work. These are vital reports. Keep up the good work, 5-8. This is Queen 6, out. Don't you ever make them think they are not needed. I say we bail this burial patrol. Start spending our time looking for any supply drops we can find. Let them suffer. It's BS. It's a playback device. There's three chigs out there. Let's take them out. No ammo. You just gonna let them mess with our heads like this? Help! Help! You eat yellow snow, you chig! <laughs> you eat yellow snow? It was off the top of my head. Hear me! Abe Lincoln's dead! What's that supposed to mean? They're using stuff they think will get us mad. Psych us out. Abe Lincoln's dead supposed to psych us? That's just a statement of fact. Chicks didn't do their homework. Hey, Marines! Chicago Cubs suck! Let's get those sons of a bitch! Help me! Somebody. Give it up! No, it's real. They're going up for it! Let's move!
Nathan, Cooper, keep an eye out. Foot powder. Finally luck in on a supply drop, all we get is foot powder. Paul? Paul, oh, that, that's dirt. Paul? Paul, you all right? The heat from the explosion melting the sugar into the dirt. It's This year. The time in this battle is finally over. I've lost count of how many times I've wondered if I'll ever see them again. But some lives never leave your heart. Some lives are more important than our own. I have to tell you, sir. Some time ago. I wouldn't understand what you were talking about. But those kids, we... I left behind. I can't stop thinking about them. If they're all right, what they must be going through, how proud I am when they call every day in 1900. You know, Ty, Someday that call won't come. A shooting star. Maybe it's a sign of hope. That's not a shooting star. It's debris from the Eisenhower falling out of orbit. That'll happen for years. Well, we ain't gonna be around to see it. Shut the hell up! From day one, you have made cracks like that. What the hell good does it do, huh? What is the point? Shane, he's just worn down. We all are. This area's familiar. It's the airstrip. We're back where we started. <laughs> Clearly superior. There are 100,000 troops on planet. I will not do to them what you had me do to the troops on Demios. Responsible. I was responsible for the defeat on Demios, and I will be responsible for our defeat here. Stand down. Saratoga, this is Demios. As of 0620 this morning, we have retaken the airfield, awaiting orders. Sir. There was no defeat at Demios. 
and there will be no defeat here. Raise position to 15,000 kilometers. I want the 27, the 32, and the 53rd Squadron in my sky on the double and rain in fire. Michigan and Nevada reporting enemy retreat. Air forces on planet have achieved air superiority. It's ours. Yeah. yeah. No word from Demios. Saratoga, this is Demios at 1900 hours. We report signs of other survivors on planet. Tell them we yet. need supplies. None have come forth to the and airfield. Not foot powder or shoelaces. We need food. Listen to me. I know you left us here to die. This radio is dead. It fried out about 12 days ago. Why didn't you tell us? You've been putting us through this charade for the last two weeks? Whoa, does, does Captain Vanson think we couldn't handle it? What, do you think we're children? A bunch of idiots? Back off, Hawks. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna throw me in the brig for striking an officer? If that's the kind of leader you are, a liar. I am not one of you anymore. I can't believe you did that to us. How long would you have let it go on? I'm going with Hawks. I did it. Because without the radio, without a purpose every day, I knew this would happen. But now that it's done, now that it's over, go. It will be a relief not to be in command anymore. Not to be responsible for four other lives. More pieces of the Eisenhower. No, it's now losing altitude. Looks like a Chig attack squadron. Maybe a few hundred miles out. They're gonna bomb and level this place. Let's get to the diner. We'll get our gear and take off. I don't want to run anymore. Without the hope of them coming for us, or us sticking together, I don't want to run anymore. If you can't run, I won't either. I took this from that drawer a while ago. And I'll be honest, I wasn't going to tell anyone. Our last supper. Everyone gets to wet a finger to the first knuckle. Whatever sticks is yours.
sorry to just drop in, but you don't call anymore. As a commander, I feel no need to explain my actions. But as a man, as a human being, I must share my emotions. I have never been more ashamed of myself. Or more proud of you. Welcome home. Thought you'd like to know. APCs picked up approximately 2,000 survivors above planet. Sir. All of us who made it back don't ever want to forget those who didn't. sleep but I can't it's like I'm supposed to be doing something I can't remember what Watch your hands, watch your hands.